Hey guys, Big Jason with uh, ActiveCampaignRocks.com. So today we're going to talk about best practices for starting an automation. Okay, so I'm in automations. This is for my email image magic early bird automation at emailimagemagic.com. So contact subscribes to list email image magic early bird list. Okay, you should know that so far. Now, I send them an email, EIM early bird welcome number one. So the problem I see with a lot of people is they start doing all kinds of stuff at the very beginning. Well, that's not optimal. Why? Because you want the email to fire as soon as possible. So you don't want them doing a bunch of if thens and all that kind of stuff, you know, if, if possible. If possible, ideally, you want to send the email right away. And then after you send the email, then you can add some tags. And then the next thing I, problem I see is people go right in to the if then conditionals, sending another email. You got to put in a wait. All right. You got to give them a chance to open or click or reply to your email. You can't just expect them to do it immediately once this first email is sent. Okay. So refresh. First thing, send the confirmation email. If it's the email that you want them to get ASAP, send the email first, add your tagging and all that good stuff, and then wait. Ideally, wait at least a day. Could be time sensitive. Maybe you want to wait, you know, a couple hours and then follow up. But for most purposes, you're going to want to wait a day. Then you're going to do your if then. And so here's my final best practice for automations. You can do one automation with multiple if thens and lots of branches and make it super complicated like uh, Infusionsoft. But me personally, I prefer to keep things simple. Uh, I was doing a call with my dedicated rep, Adam Tuttle, for one of my big enterprise clients with ActiveCampaignRocks.com. And uh, we were doing some really complex stuff and integrations with custom CRMs and he like within 10 minutes, he's like, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's just stop right here. This is getting way too complicated. Do you think your client's going to be able to manage this or even be able to follow along? And I'm like, no, not really. And I, now that I think about it, it looks really complicated to me. He's like, so, so Adam's like, so here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to keep automation simple, one thing at a time. And that's what I'm going to show you right here. Keep things simple, not complicated. You can keep them complicated. You can have one automation and multiple if thens and multiple branches, but I like to keep them single focused. So here is my if then. After I send the first email, after I add my tags, after I waited one day to see if they had clicked on any link in this email, if they did click on the link, I'm going to send them my next follow up email. If they didn't, I'm going to add them to another automation, okay? This automation is for people that don't click or respond to the first email. And then I'm going to end the automation for them. That's really not that important. But do you see what I'm, where I'm going? So if I keep them in this automation, I can keep going here. And then the next email, I can do another if then. And I can do another if then. So this way, it keeps it simple, keeps automations focused. Again, recap. Send the email immediately without doing anything else. Then add your tags. And if you're going to do some if-thens, make sure you give them enough time to respond to your email. Once again, this is Big Jason, Active Campaign Rocks. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you on the next video.